What's up, everybody? Well, <clears throat> I was going to go fishing, but now I'm not. But I want to say this. Earl Spence, there was this thing going around of him moving up like two weight classes, whatever, for a deal to fight Canelo Alvarez. Obviously, it won't be next or the fight after. It'd probably be three, three fights down the road for Canelo. Um... But I will say this, man. Why the fuck do you care about what condition Spence will be in going into a fight with Canelo? Why the fuck would you care? The most thing, an important thing that I keep hearing that, that, that you should be caring about is that a boxer is willing to risk it all to move up two weight classes to prove to the whole wide world that he is great. And you guys won't even allow him to do that without any type of criticism. But you allow, but some folks allow people to go around here and chase belts, chase fighters, and et cetera, et cetera, or pay their dues in the boxing game and then uh, put themselves first to make money, but never check them. And when the time is enough to get back to giving the fans what they want. Um, I would say this to all of it, man. It, that's, that's a bold statement. Nobody on this guy green earth will, is, is, will say they wouldn't want to watch Spence versus Canelo if you, you know, moving up two weight classes. But then come around and say they want to see Canelo versus Bibble. Doesn't make any sense. You give Canelo all the time in the world for going up to, to fight Bibble, right? But you're not giving, you won't give Spence that same opportunity. Right now, there's one or two weight classes. Somebody still got to move up. Somebody's still getting in the ring in the, in the weight that he didn't fight in. You can say Canelo has proven himself, trying to prove to the whole world that he's great by fighting Bibble. And then fighting Triple G. And then after that fighting God. Who knows. Who knows. John Ryder. Or whatever the case may be. But Spence can't get the same the same energy. If, if, if folks want to believe that. Spence will get eight up. Versus Canelo if he moves up two weight classes. That's their business. But at the end of the, at the, end of the day. It's a fucking opinion. You know, it's a it's a hard thing to sell to move up two weight classes that you're going to win, you know. But it's a hard thing to not sell a fighter trying to be great. You know, um, I believe that people could say styles this and styles that, wherever the case may be. But every time... These styles come into play. People have been proven wrong with a lot of these fights over the years. A lot of them. A lot of fights. People talk about styles. People talk about weight. People talk about this, that, and the third. But if everybody was 100% on what they were talking about, got everything fucking right, Motherfuckers will be in the long line of the wrong line of fucking business. See what I'm saying? And I'm not the one to sit up over here like some people and say I know boxing, I know this. I just give my motherfucking opinion. I don't know shit. But I will tell you this. What's good for all these other boxers trying to be great, great it should be good enough for Earl Spence. Should be good enough for him. If he wants to move up, if somebody wants to give Canelo 50 something million dollars to fight Earl Spence, they're not giving Canelo 50 something million dollars to fight Earl Spence for Earl Spence to lose. You see what I'm saying? They're not giving that money up for Earl Spence to lose. Why would somebody? 
Put money behind somebody like Earl Spence to go up two weight classes. If they if they thought he didn't have a shot. Huh? Because they know they're not going to get Canelo to come up over there to that to their side. They already tried multiple occasions. He don't want to. It's not a sign of good faith to, hey, come on with us. You see what I'm saying? So let, let, let's let's keep it in that perspective. You know? It's is time and time again, you know, it's I don't you, you you know, we all think different, so it's not something I, I sit up over here and say that people are stupid and this and the third, this and not this. Because we all think different. But I'm not gonna be the one to sit up over here and say now all of a sudden, um can, uh, when it comes to all these other fighters that they can fight world champions and those world champions ain't worth a damn. But then people gloat over those world champions. And then all of a sudden people start using those, those world to, he, Oh, well, he fought this world champion, that world champion, but those world champions weren't all that. And boxing ain't what it, and boxing ain't what it used to be. And there's a lot of fucking weak divisions around here. See what I'm saying? I know I heard blood boxing say that, you know, he wants to see, 175 uh, fixed up and all this stuff. But sometimes shit ain't meant to fucking be, man. Even though if it's cleared out and stuff like that, what kind of fights are you going to see? What kind of match you are going to see? What kind of level of competition are you going to see? Somebody can get undisputed, Canelo can get undisputed at uh, 175 fighting who? You know what I'm saying? And... I know people can say this in the third blind, blah, 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 but there's a lot of motherfuckers that with no defense up over there. There's a lot of people with no defense up over there. There's a lot of tough, rugged, and raw guys, but there's but when you no defense against these elite, elite fighters, they're going to get picked apart. They're just going to get picked apart. People can say whatever they want to. No defense versus elite fighters. You're going to get picked apart. No matter how tough, rugged, and raw you are. A lot of these fighters have already been in countless wars. Uh, countless calluses built up around their face. Scar tissue and all that stuff. You only... you If if, if them dudes did it to you, what do you think, this guy is gonna, what do you think these elite fighters are going to do to you? You know what I'm saying? So, let's, let's, let's cut that out. Let's, let's, let's just keep it what it is. You know? And... I know people's like, oh man, you don't know what you're talking about. This and the third. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm just giving my opinion. I can be wrong. Who gives a fuck? You know what I'm saying? Let me let me know when you find somebody that got uh, 100% of their fight predictions right. Let me find that motherfucker. And go and, and, and go 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 talk to him. Because the majority of boxing fans, that, that ain't the truth. That that is not the truth. These mother, these fighters, these 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 uh, propagandists, these um, these uh, ex fighters, these promoters, these managers, these matchmakers, um, these sport bookies, everybody gets shit wrong. Yeah, there's probably a few that probably got them all right, but I'm pretty sure them fuse boss, you you can put them in, a, you you can count them on a, on one hand. So so let's just cut that out, man. It's just, you know, sometimes man, with this boxing game, man, you just never know what's going to happen on any given Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, or Mondays in some cases. Just never fucking know. You just, you make your fucking fight prediction. You can have an educated guess. You can have a non-educated guess. You can have a gun feeling. You can have a hunch. But at the end of the day, it's just like the motherfucker who wins the match. Don't nobody give a fuck what 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 knowledge you had to, to pick your pick who you pick. A win is a win. If you put money down and you guessed and you won, don't nobody give a fuck if it was a uneducated opinion or not. And then if you even if you consistent with it, don't nobody give a fuck. And that's what's wrong with these motherfuckers. And I'm saying that to say I don't I don't pretend to act like I know more about boxing than the next motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? I'm a fan of the sport, and that's pretty much it. But you motherfuckers out there are off the fucking chain. 
with all this Canelo shit, with this Tyson Fury shit. Y'all was on some Loma shit, but he took an L. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just mind boggling. Now you got this Daniel Kinninghan shit. And people have lost their goddamn mind when it comes to boxing. Like, you, 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 if you're a boxing fan, you either do a couple things, right? I mean, ultimately, you should just be paying for the fights that you want to see. Ultimately, you should be paying for the fights that you feel that you're going to be entertained for. If you think, Phil, that's going to entertain you, you go ahead and buy it. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you got the money, you feel like you're about to get entertained by this, by all means, pay-per-view or non-pay-per-view, go ahead and buy it. You see what I'm saying? But don't go telling me. Don't go telling other folks. Because that's your fucking preference. It ain't mine. Some people's preference is out here talking about undisputed. I want to see undisputed. I want to see undisputed. But then again, you're going to turn around and dog the belts. Talk about this belt ain't worth shit. That belt ain't worth shit. Blah, blah, woo, woo, woo. But then turn around and all of a sudden you want to see undisputed. You want to you see that shit because, because, because what? That's, that, the undisputed, that ain't for you. That's for the fighters. That's, 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 that's for them to feel. It ain't for you to fucking feel. For you to feel is enjoyment for watching a fight. These belts got motherfuckers sick out here. You see what I'm saying? From, oh, he fought a champion. Oh, he fought X, uh, X amount of uh, X world champions. But at the end of the day, what, when it comes through a circle, who were the motherfuckers? Did the belt make them or did they make that motherfucking belt? Was they, when they, when they, when they, when they had that belt around they, cha around they, they, they fucking waist, was they a champion or, or was they a pretender? Or was they just sitting up over there just, just buying time to somebody came and took it from them? You see what I'm saying? And, and, you know, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see what's up with these guys. And, you, you know, whole, this whole, um, Tyson Fury and whoop Linus Lewis. Tyson Fury is uh, better than this 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 guy and that guy. Look, the motherfucker couldn't hold Muhammad Ali's drive the strap. In my opinion, I think Tommy Morrison would have knocked Tyson Fury out. A lot of these heavyweights can't even box these days, man. Come on. The only thing that Tyson Fury got is that. Matter of fact, Tyson Fury's not even the best best boxer in heavyweight division. He got all the advantages. He got all the advantages to make him seem like he's a this, that, and the third. But what would be what would Tyson Fury be if he was 5'11? Hmm? What would Tyson Fury be if he was 5'11? What would Tyson Fury be if he was 6'2? What would Tyson Fury be if he was 6'4? What would Tyson Fury be if it was anything but Almost seven feet fucking tall. Hmm? What a, when, when, when we seen fights with him, with him getting fucked up, and the only thing that saved his ass was wrestling tactics. His weight and wrestling tactics. What would he be? See what I'm saying? Now, now you can't take away. Yeah, you're right. If you already said it, you can't take away the, the God get the abilities of, of, you know, height and weight and all that shit. Yeah, I understand that. But once you take those things away and you actually look at the other fighters that's in the heavyweight division, is he the best? Would he be the best boxer? See what I'm saying? And that's all debatable. And that's debatable. You know, that'd, that'd be a, um, a debatable thing because then you had to say, well, then, you know, this is in the third. Then, then you're going to go down a rabbit hole. Who does this better? Who does that better? And, you know, it's, it's but that's just my fucking opinion. And you and, and you can fucking if you don't like it, you can stick it up your ass. For all I fucking care, because you ain't gonna do nothing but, but but flap your motherfucking gums. You know what I'm saying? Now, now with all this, all this talk about Tyson Fury and uh, better than guys from the past. You you you. 
everybody's always bringing up the most popular names, but there's a, there's a, there's a lot of unpopular names out there that would get Tyson Fury as well. There's a lot of unpopular names that gave the popular names hell. See what I'm saying? It's like, it's like all of a sudden when it comes, especially the heavyweight division, it seems like a lot of this shit from the past, when it comes to boxing, brawling, or whatever the case may be, is missing. It seems like there's some ingredients missing. I don't know what it is. Not enough salt, not enough Larry's, not enough black pepper. I don't know what it is, but something's missing. And a lot of people want to say, um, this fighter or, or that fighter, there's trainers are, are just there, you know, the collective check, the manager, the promoter, you know what? That's probably what it is. That's, that's probably what it is. It's probably, it's, that's, it's probably too many motherfuckers out here ready to, to take a check, ready to lie to kick it and, 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 and play the part rather than, rather than to be the part. Cause it's easy. It's easy in this day and age to act like you're something because it's, it's, it's look at, look at all these, these weight divisions. It's kind of weak, right? So if you got somebody that's mediocre and you got, he, you get him a few wins on his belt, somebody might look at you, be like, you know, come on over and train this guy. And, you know, and you see it, you see it. You, it, it is. And it's like, what the fuck? It's like, what the fuck? Why is you going to, you going to put Ricky Hatton in your corner as a trainer? I'm not, you know what? I'm not going to talk about these trainers, man. I'm not, I'm not going to call them out by name because, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, I don't think there's, I don't think any of these trainers out, out here are, are, are like going out of their way to portray that they know what they're talking about to, and, and, and uh, sabotage somebody's career and stuff like that. And, but I, but I do think, I, you know, I don't think nobody wants to fucking lose. See what I'm saying? I don't think none of these trainers want to fucking lose. I, I, I think, I think, you know, you know, at the end of the day, are some of them about the money? Yeah. But at the end of the day, when that bell ring, I don't think none of them want to fucking lose. But, but at some point when you hear what they talk about in the corners and stuff like that, and you see the game plans and stuff like that, you, you get the notion that, they didn't know they didn't know what they were doing or they being instructed what to do. Like they're not in charge of something. Like it's, 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 it doesn't it, it does not seem right. And I said I'm not going to call any uh, trainers out, but it does not seem right. I'm just going to use it as an example for Dillian White to do what he did. And then say that everybody knew what they was doing. They had the game plan, the, um, you know, all that stuff, right? It, it doesn't, it, it does not make sense. Does not make sense. Now, okay. I'm trying to make this too long, man. And I hope, you know, there's, oh, you know, there's somebody, at least one person that out there watched the whole video, you know, um, I took, you know, I didn't take no, you know, just, you know, it's just always nice to know that somebody's listening, right? But last but not least, there's a lot of people out there flipping. Now on, on this Tyson Fury thing, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people had a hard on, you know, in a, in a bad way for uh, Fury after the, you know, those three Deontay Wilder fights. You call them ass whoopers, call them what you want. They was ass whoopers, except the first one. But the, the, them two, they was ass whoopers. I mean, you can't deny it. Whether or not you can say there was cheating or whatever the case may be, you can see the damage. Okay? So they was ass whoopings. The first one wasn't, I think, the first one, it is what it is. Um, I think Deontay Wilder won, but it was a draw. It is what it is. Some people think that Deontay Wilder lost. That state business, you can't take back what it says, right? 
But there's a lot of people flipping sides. Right? I'm going to tell you this one thing, man. You can't come out here and say that from Fury beating Dillian White, we're going to do all this. I didn't see this much hype off. I didn't see this much hype. I didn't see this much flipping. For real. When 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 Fury beat Deontay Wilder the third time, I didn't see it like I didn't see this much BS. I didn't see this much BS. Now all of a sudden I'm seeing a whole bunch of flipping. I don't know if it's because everybody want to make money. I don't know if it's because a lot of people don't want to get shunned out from doing interviews with with John and, 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 and Fury and Tommy. I don't know what it is because you know what them dudes, man, you know, they on some fugazi. You can't even ask them a simple question, a valid question, you know, and everybody know they lying. That's the thing. When, when these guys ask Fury these questions over and over again, they know he fucking lying. You, 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 and, and, and they looking at him and they know he lying. These Daniel Cor the Kenny had questions ain't no motherfucking joke. Y'all can sit up over here and act like Tyson Fury is, is, is fine and all this stuff. But guess what? At the end of the day, Fury trusting more than Deontay Wilder. Ain't that about a bitch? Ain't that about a bitch? But like I said, too many people out here flipping, man. Motherfuckers giving Fury more props for beating Dillian White over Deontay. And it doesn't make any sense because the reason why it doesn't make any sense to me is all you motherfuckers just pick Deontay Wilder to beat Dillian White. Especially after Fury did what he did with White. Now, now, Everybody out there like, damn, damn, and everybody flipped the script on white. Soon as he lost, now all of a sudden, y'all, y'all want to join the Fury team. He had a fucking horrible ass game plan. You could blame a lot of people on this team. See what I'm saying? But you ultimately got to blame him. Cause, cause at the end of the day, there's blue. There was many of blueprints out there for him to follow. There was many of um, good things that people did against Fury to where he could have tried to put it in his repertoire. But switching stances up, come on, man! I'm just saying, switching, and and you knew. This is how bad it was. Tyson Fury threw an uppercut, almost missed. Hits Dillian White, knocks him out. Ain't that something? The dude knew. See, Dillian White, that's his kryptonite. His kryptonite is hook, is, is uppercuts. Uppercuts, he has no business standing in front of nobody, not working. He has no business standing in front of nobody not working. Head has, you got to be doing something. And then of all people, you just going to stand there, look at Tyson Fury's like, hey man, what you doing? Uh, you better throw a punch or what? I uh, uh, see you doing something. Like, I don't know, man. But that's all I want to say. And I hope everybody out there is doing well. You know, um, shout out to the boxing world and everybody stay sucker free.